Hey guys, RC here, back with a late episode 19. Uh, I had recorded episode 19, and I went to render it today, and there was no audio. Somehow or other, the settings in my microphone got switched, and it was on, it was powered, it just wasn't registering anything. So, uh, I didn't want to put up a uh, audio-less episode i thought that would be worse than my normal episodes so uh yeah so i scrapped those unfortunately that was the last episode for the uh end of stage last season or the opening stage or what whatever um so yeah so here's the end of the season run in uh grand valencia uh 3-1 loss uh, we got drilled by Portuguesa 5-1. to one. Luis Correa scored a goal. Real Frontera 3-1. to one. Joseph Frank Bermudez with a late goal to make it look good, better. And uh, Liberty 2-1. to one. Uh, We had a 1-0 lead, and they ended up with an 83rd and a 92nd minute goal. So, yeah, we've been in a shit run. Uh, so... Uh, and it hasn't looked any better. We lost our friendly to Monagas 5-1. to one. We did have a takeover at the end of last season. And um, our old president retired. So the club did put some money in and actually got, they took out a loan as well. Uh, debts and loans. So we have a half a million dollar loan uh, that we're having to pay back uh, sixty or five thousand dollars a month for nine years. Great, not happy about that, but it is what it is. Um, hmm. And you can see we're losing a shit ton of money. Of course, you know we've had a lot of moves, uh, signings. Uh, and we're coming into our first game. So this is going to be the first match of the season. We'll probably only do one match today just because we have so much to catch up on. Um, so I wanted to go over the old scores. So we are into the next season, 2021. Uh, let's see. I am, I don't even remember about my contract. Uh, yes. Okay. So I signed one in August. And it goes through next year. So I'm in the last year of my contract, opening and closing stage. And we are on the verge. You, you know, of course, you saw the win loss, well, the loss loss record. There were, were no wins or draws, they were all losses. Uh, we are, we, we've equaled the league record for most consecutive losses. So if we lose one more, we break that record. Not a record you want to hold, I'm afraid. Um, so I also made the decision going into the offseason that I was going to take over uh, signing players. So for better or for worse, um, I was going to take the hit there. So we're currently spending 419000 We have not spent any of our transfer budget. Uh, we're, you know, we're within $50,000 of the, of the cap. And, I, you know, I did try to get rid of a lot of people, which I did. So let's get into the transfers. Uh, well, I guess we have to go up here. Uh, so let's look at the released players first. Uh, all of these guys went on freeze. Cristobal Vivas uh, left is on a free 25-year-old center back. Uh, didn't play for us at all last year. Played seven matches the year before. Just, you know, he was just taking up a roster spot. Romeri Vallet, uh, he is a 19-year-old keeper. Just I didn't think he had enough upside, and I was trying to uh, just, you know, cut his salary, you know, get it off the books. Jose Marquez, another keeper. Uh, again, just a salary cut. Uh, you know, he wasn't he, he was not in our top two. And honestly, I just don't see carrying the extra bodies right now. We can't afford a heavy youth squad. So uh, as the youths come in, as we get the youth regens every year, if they're not going to be real quality, I'm probably not going to even sign them. Uh, striker Edgar Contreras, 
uh, again, didn't have the pace, didn't have the finishing, not horrible. But again, you know, two matches last year, just, you know, out the door. One of the guys that I didn't want to get rid of, but I, I thought I had to, Cesar Barlacina, uh, 19 years old, center back, left back. Now, he's played a lot of matches for us, eight, seven, nine. So he's been a regular starter. Uh, started five, came off the bench in three. Uh, but he has gone on a free to Hermidad Galega in the third division. Uh, Luis Correa was one of our strikers. Uh, I did like him, but his finishing was just real low. And four goals in 18 last year. I mean, he still played in 18 matches, but I wanted a couple of other guys to play, and I was looking to upgrade there. And then Aguilera was probably one of our best better players uh four star potential but he plays an attacking center that i don't play with so uh, again just you know we got you know basically 8500 8750 a year off our books so that's what's going on there uh so all those guys went out on freeze now we did bring in quite a few players uh let's sort them out by loans and let's look at the loanies first. Uh, two of these guys are going to be seeing playing time for us. Uh, Martin Tronosco from Chile. He's on loan from University de Concepcion. Uh, pretty good upside. Uh, striker. Not great, but he, can, he heading ability, jumping ability. So, you know, he's, we're not paying anything for him. So that's good. <laughs> uh george sanchez now he's gonna be a uh he's gonna fit into our starting 11 i think uh he's a left winger and uh, we're gonna be paying 67.50 for him a lot of our guys that got raises were up in the eight to ten thousand dollar range so i was trying to cut back and trying to keep more of these guys in the 67.50 range i like his physicals uh good crossing ability good technique so we'll see how he works out, but I think he's going to fit into our starting 11. Washington Delgado, he's another loney that's going to slot into our starting 11. They both come from uh, Quito, or Quito uh, but he is uh, up top and uh, eight finishing, decent pace, uh, heading, finishing, first touch. So pretty well-rounded at least for this level. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, Johan Rivero, a loanee from uh, Policia de Lara. Uh, he's a center back. He could play a lot of positions, but primarily center back. He is a little short. He can still jump. Heading's not great. Marking, tackling's really good. Uh, he does have some pace and acceleration, which I like. So, and we need, we lost Gallo, his loan finish, and he was not interested in coming back. So he was our he was our number one center back option. Had a really huge hole in the back, back line there. So we really addressed that heavy. Brian Castillo comes from Hermanos on a loan. Another striker, 12 finishing, not much in the way of physicals. He's more depth, um, so he will not play a ton. Uh, but you've seen how quick, you know, how much rotation we have to have in, in this league. Uh I don't know what reason that is, but anyway. Uh, William Bautista, he comes to us. Everybody else came on a free. We didn't spend any money, uh, just salaries. So he's 25 years old. He can play. We have uh, two new tactics that I've brought in. Uh, they're both 4-4-2s with different midfield options. And then we have the old 4-4-2 with the defensive mid uh, Volante anchor set up. So he can play that anchor. He can play the Volante. He can play in the central mid as a ball-winning midfielder, deep-lying playmaker. Good passing, uh, tackling technique, first touch. Physicals aren't quite there, but I'm looking at him being more of our playmaker distributor. So he's going to probably slot into our starting 11 as well. Uh, let's see. Jose Rivera from Centr Central Italia. Italo, Italio, another center back, uh, depth, you know, like I said, we didn't really have any center backs that were able to really play, so he's got pretty decent physicals, he's 6'4", good jumping reach, good heading, 
So I really like him tackling, marking. I think we're going to see him start. Uh, he'll be our starter as well uh, alongside uh, Bautista. Robert Brito, he also projects to be a starter at uh, right back. Uh, he can play the center back, 5'9", not quite as good at jumping, but still uh, tackling, marking. My biggest problem with him is he can't cross the ball. He does have uh, good physicals, but that's going to be a drawback uh, in that right that right wing position playing an attacking role. Uh, Carlos Ojeda comes from Cologne. Uh, he is a left winger, left midfielder. Again, physicals, natural fitness, pace, uh, work rate, passing, you know, everything's pretty solid. So I'm looking forward. Now he's opening the season on suspension. So he won't be in the first game, but he also looks to be one of our starters. Uh, Carlos Ojeda looks to be depth on the left wing. Uh, again, pretty decent physicals. He can also cross the ball. So he'll probably see a lot of playing time. I think he'll be a number two option uh, behind Brito over there. William Farias, we made this, a, this these were all last day signings. Uh, or, or late signings, I should say, uh, fe February 1st. Uh, he is a, again, defensive midfielder, can play that anchor Volante, but he can move up into that 4-4-2. Uh, we had a few people that wanted him on loan, but he's not going to start, but I think he's going to be decent depth, and you know we're going to need some bodies back there, so I didn't loan him out. And the last guy is Richard Alexio. He was a last-minute signing. Uh, saw him center mid, uh, first touch, passing, tackling, pace. So he's got the ability to be, uh, you know, possibly a box-to-box -box ball winning midfielder. Uh, he can also play the deep lying playmaker. Has decent passing ability. So those are the guys that we brought in. So we've we've added some people. Uh, you know, we've moved some people out on freeze and then we have a lot of people, I think that are still here. Uh, Jefferson Rodriguez, he's not under contract. Again, I was letting him go. Uh, Felipe Castro, Benea, Diaz, uh, Trinoco is out on loan or he's on loan. So we talked about him. Uh, so yeah, these four guys are out of contract and I was not going to bring any of them back. Uh, Jefferson was a starter for us last year. I just was, his passing was, was killing me. And, you know, he was so much better everywhere else, except, but he couldn't shoot and he couldn't pass. And that was kind of killing me in the midfield. So I want to force another person to start. So that was the whole goal of not re-signing him, plus getting 11,000 bucks off our books. So, um... Let's get into the match today. We're going to be playing at home against Takanis de Amazonas. So Takanis is in. Wet, gusty. We're underdogs. Not huge, but, you know, it is up against us. Uh, so deep lying, ball winning. So the difference in these two is we pl we're playing with wide midfielders on support. More of a support structure. Uh, Mazella's. This one we're playing more attacking in the mid. Uh, and then we have, of course, that tactic where we were playing with the anchors. I think I'm going to go with this one, more of a support structure, even on the back line. I think that helps our right back situation uh, because he had the low crossing and puts a little bit more into some playmakers. Um, Mazella. Central player, drift wide, operate in the half spaces, a central half winger. Okay. Less defensive responsibility. Okay. I've never actually played with a Mazella. Uh, so I want to come in here and quick pick the entire team. So that's the guys we're going with. Uh, we do have uh, some, some old names. Reyna, uh, Joseph Frank might get in. But he was one of my starters till we signed a couple of midfielders. Uh, Jefferson, I do I do not want to play. <laughs> so, and uh, Dorito, of course, uh, has lost his spot. Lewis Marin, I I tried to move him. He's he's actually wanted now on loan. 
I have him listed for to sell for value. He's got really good finishing, but no pace whatsoever. So anyway, this is what we're going to go with. So uh, let's see. And uh, Tr Troncoso, Beretta, Rivero, Porto. Yep, so that's who we're going with. So submit the team. Yeah, nobody has match sharpness. That's fine. We're used to that. I am ready to move on from this club, I think. I want to kind of get a fresh start. <laughs> but uh, encourage the team. Let's try to give the faith talk and get everybody, you know, greased up really good. Well, that didn't really do anything. All right, we are in the yellow. All right, Trevino. Up to Delgado. Plays it back to Bautista. That was not good. All right. Out wide to Gamboa. Oh, good block. Good block there by Rivera. Oh, hello. Oh, I think he just slugged off the, uh, the sideline official. No card, just a foul. Oh, no. Javier Maldonado gets open in the box. Puts the header in. Shit. Uh, da, da, da. Extended highlights. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, Orozco. Headed down. Delgado comes back. Crossed in. Alexio cannot get it past the defender. All right, he plays it out. Oh, sl Tackled away. Trevino saves it. Saves it from going out of play. Up to Bautista. Trevino lumps it forward. Delgado. He's on sides. He's on sides. Oh, Gonzalez with the save. Sets up a corner. First set piece of the season. Sanchez plays it short. Bautista, Trevino in the box, tackled away. Rivera comes back to get it. Oh, tackled away. Trevino, I think Trevino kicked it out of bounds because the guy got hurt. All right, Brito into the box. Come on, squared. There's the shot. Ah, come on, boys. Oh, Mina's actually off now. They kept him on after that injury he picked up. All right. Trevino picks up a yellow. Let's encourage him. All right. That one's headed wide of the mark. Keeps us down just one. Come on. Three shots apiece. Let's, uh, let's bring this out a little bit. All right, possessions drop to their favor. We've got a little bit more in the way of shots. Oh, Bautista lets that one get away with a heavy touch. Gamboa. Oh, off the woodwork. Oh, we got lucky. Lucky! Uh, let's tell him to calm down. Oh, they're disinterested, but now he's nervous. Three minutes of stoppage time. Oh, they're up to seven shots. I mean, we're still playing attacking. All right, Trevino. All right, he lumps it up to Delgado. Okay, I don't know if that was just a bad shot on his part. No, that was blocked away. Okay, good. 
Well, that was an interesting kick out. Arujo sets up another corner. All right, they're marking the short guy into the box. Keeper knocks it away. Oh, off target there. Ugh. Five shots, two on target. All right, we've had, and Brito got booked right at the end of the half. All right, well, we came back a little bit. Uh, disappointing, sure. Play it calm. Play it calm. Play it calm. Uh, let's see, six four, six. We got a bunch of six fours. All right. One of the things that I don't like about FM about the game is when you go on vacation, and you're you know, like when I'm trying to get through the oh he bent it wide. When you're trying to get through and there's like 45 days or whatever till the next event. You know, I'll go on vacation for a week at a time if there's really nothing pressing that I'm doing. And then I come back and I've got 82 emails and, you know, you get the ones from, you know, the ones from the press, you know, where, you know, Joe Schmo, the reporter, wants to called up with a question. And, and then the next email says you chose not to talk to him. Well, I didn't really choose not to talk with him, but point being is I didn't talk to him. But when you get things like, uh, you know, like I got an email that Lunar wanted to speak with, you know, Lunar's concerned about the depth that on the back line, whatever. And you would have the, you know, he doesn't really, you know, he doesn't expect anything, but he is a team leader. But it doesn't stop the game. Every other game that's anywhere along these lines gives you the ability that if you get an email that has something that you're supposed to respond to, it drops you out of vacation or whatever and brings you to that email on that day. So I don't know. All right. Um, I'm going to bring in, uh, let's see. I'm going to bring in Trenoso for Lunar because Lunar's, I don't know, he's just off the pace a little bit. Mid right, that would be a Rougeau. Zuniaga. Both my both my backs are on. Let's bring off a yellow card. Let's do that. All right. Um, get creative. All right, that's played out wide into space. Jimenez blocked away. Bautista, well, he got to the ball, but he couldn't keep hold of it. Knocked wide by the keeper. All right, that's headed out. Cleared away. Okay, I am contemplating. No, headed wide of the mark. All right, let's go to tactics. So this is, let's go to here. Let's push it up a little bit. So let's do that first. And then we can go in and make, oh no, I don't want to make the sub yet. All right, here we go. All right, so get creative again. All right. Um, Mid-center. Mid-right. Really would like to bring Beretta on. Let's do that, see if we can get some playmaking ability on there.
Come on. Yellow card on them. Push forward. All right, Burrito. Troncoso. Turns the corner to Beretta. Laid back to Bautista. Makes the deep play. Zuniaga. Uh, penalty? Yes. Jose Rivero lines up for the penalty. Come on, man. I think, we're, I think he, is that our center back? Rivero? Oh, he just drills it. Nice. That is my center back. Are you kidding me? A five in penalty taking? Please tell me that's not my best. Oh, but he had he, he had the big brass set hanging down. He just buried that, man. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> Lump forward. Burrito. At least it's not, well, I don't want to say nothing yet. We're at the clock. All right, there's the through ball. All right, that should be the whistle. Oh, that was horrific. Oh, we blew through our defense right there. All right, come on. It was only supposed to be three minutes. Hello? Really? Oh, come on. The referee's going to steal this game from us. No, bullshit. Oh, that is bullshit. Bullshit. Look at that. A minute over stoppage? Bullshit, we got FM'd. Oh, my God. Oh, we got completely ripped. Oh, that is just gut-wrenching. Damn it. I'll agree. Six in the second half? Ugh. <sighs> Shit. Oh, that's just... Bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> I got to admit, this is one point where I got to admit that the, the, the European guys are much better at this because they just have the better cursing slang. You know, that, those bellins, it's utter bollocks. And then they say it in their accent, which is so cool. But, you know, all I can say is that's fucking bullshit. And that's just what you get from an American because that's our slang cursing. <laughs> All right, well, god damn it. Ah, that sucked. I thought we had, and I jinxed it. I jinxed it by even saying something. All right, well, I'm going to have to come back here real quick. So because I had to, uh, I lost a whole episode, I'm recording this one to go up tomorrow. So I need to go ahead and record for Friday. Uh, so let's check real quick. I think we're just going to pop right back. Uh, let's come right back for Lala and Frontera because, again, I'm still trying to get used to all the new players. Uh, I don't think we need to see Toscani's again. And Lala, Frontera, we'll probably do that. And then we'll come back for the two uh, end of opening stage and see where we're at there. So, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe for me if you don't mind. Uh, thanks as always for dropping by and checking out my content and we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.